It's star one nine seven eight star eight three seven eight Nicole Caruso. I know I look like whatever. Um, I mean, I do. If I was a bird with one head, I look at me one way. But I am not far off from looking at my health myself with a bird with two heads. Um, from both directions is what I might look like. And depending on who is the receiver of this message, how they might misinterpret based on first substantive contact. Uh, that never falls without my purview. But here I am. I'm in this. Um, I was just in Bayside Village or Bayside Station. I was walking, doing my exercise walk, and then it started raining really bad. Now, I'd seen yesterday, I have, I had seen yesterday, I think these are appropriate words for street talk. Um, I had seen two young men, um, dressed like, I remember Michael Zapp dressing, um, but also, I mean, just nice trousers, uh, clean button down shirt, um, sweater. Um, so, uh, and then a jacket, one had a jacket on cause it was starting to rain. So, um, I'd seen them yesterday. They're around my son's ages, bet somewhere between 99 and 2005, uh, or at least they look that way. I made mention of it. They said somewhere there. Um, I said, I'm just curious what you're doing in the neighborhood. And so I said, I saw that I saw you trying to speak to people last night when I was walking. I was like, but we were on opposite sides of the street that today I actually crossed the street in order to speak to them. Um, and they said that they were there, um, just trying to speak to people about Jesus. And I was like, oh, I was like, all right. I was like, um, again, like I'm curious to say the least. The one, uh, gentleman that I spoke with, um, who looked very much like a, I mean, looks like he could be a brother for, uh, Kathy Taylor's son, um, Eddie's, uh, not Eddie, uh, Taylor Stepnick. I mean, it was like spitting image, like they were mirror images. I mean, when he spoke, he said though, um, so we went through a conversation. He says that they walk about, um, they have a church. Would I be interested? I said, now, when does the church meet? They said Sunday at 10. And I said, here's the thing. Um, I told them about my experience with uh, the Episcopal Pelion Church that I can walk to and that I made the switch over um, to Zion. Um, I was more comfortable with the pastor. I'm waiting for, the, or the, the reverend, I'm waiting for the other reverend to return. Um, she's away right now. Um, made a commitment with myself and my son for the next few weeks uh, for, of Sunday school and such. So I'm going to keep to that. Um, but I could meet with them, whatever. So um, that's, and then I asked if they spoke French. They said no. One, the one that looked like Taylor said um, that he spoke Ukrainian. And I said, oh, I said, well, here's the thing. I said, you've heard like that thing, like there's no I in team, correct? And he's like, yes. And I said, right. I said, well, in French, we have something, je suis, which means I am. Um, and if you take the I out of I am, in je suis, it spells Jesus. I was like, so again, sometimes when you're in a conversation and he's like, so you're an avid believer in Jesus. And I said, it's not that I ever stopped believing in Jesus. I said, it's just, I don't feel safe in this world or in this area speaking on such things. I said in public, I said, so I don't ever. Um, 
I said, but I am always with an opened ear and, and listening. Um, so I said, you spell, it's J-E and then it's S-U-I-S, -S, je suis, and I am. And I said, have you ever heard of the word Yahweh? And they said, no. And I said, Yahweh translates to I am who I am. And I just left it at that because I know what I mean and they are young and I don't know what they need to know and what they don't need to know. I know they're my son's age. I know that they're an integral part. I also briefed them on the fact that I was brought to this place after my birth um, and then I was moved to Long Island and that there used to be a community center. I said in a utopian, in like say your um, church system, I know how the brick and mortar was supposed to work, uh, theoretically in a utopia. I was like, but this place operates in some dysfunction and dystopian system. I was like, and I'm really trying to get my, my, my bearings. I was like, I came back because I lost my house in my late thirties I was like, and I'm trying to find community and service. I was like, I have four boys. I'm trying to make sure if the military holds the intelligence, how do I get my boys into some service? I was like, I can't even find that for them. How are they going to grow to be men of intelligence if I can't find their avenue? And I don't know. I was like, you see those flags over there? I said, somebody blessed this neighborhood with those signatures. I don't know who. I said, it has the United States flag. I was like, now we have an Excelsior and something else. I was like, I feel like I'm almost in a blind, like at a duck hunt. And I'm like surrounded and covered. I was like, and I don't know what all these signs and symbols mean. And as I walk, I'm trying to find community in Bayside. I was like, but I don't know where they hide. I don't know where they gather. I don't know what they're, and I was like, there's, it's almost like the fulcrum and the centrifugal force that the church used to have on an area. It's almost like in this town, it no longer exists. I was like, so I know there's an NYPD and they're important, but when I go into NYPD, it has an Afghanistan placard on the wall. I was like, so this totally baffles and confuses me. So they said, that's what we do. And um, they said, and they had on their, it said elder. Um, so I said, another really interesting fact about me, just so you know, um, I said is I am in nature, mother of nature. I have a son that's born on the exact same day and time or exact same day as myself on the calendar. His name is Alexander. He's incredibly important. I was like, because as mother of nature, I passed the hands of time. So in this world, I was like, he is the hands of time and I am the mother of his nature. So there is actual real spatial placement of space and time and a definition that I can make to someone um, about who we are in a definable whatever. I was like, I know in ancient times, these were incredibly important. So he explained to me uh, about very briefly Jesus Christ and about the prophet that brought about the teachings of Jesus Christ. I thought that that was that elevator moment was very important um, that key detail. Um, and again, I don't know that's somewhere between a nine, 10 and 11 of importance. Um, so somebody blessed me. I asked them, I was like, what's, what sent you here? And wondering where my divine intervention came from. And so he said, um, he said, no, he said, you know, we just thought we would see the neighborhood and see, you know, meet some folks. And I said, that's great. I said, I'm glad you're here. 
And so I gave them my phone number and the spelling of my name. Um, and we set up a time um, to meet um, that because of the Sunday, I could not attend. I have a prior commitment. So for me, it's important. Um, and so um, I thanked them for their time and it was nice to meet them. And I went on my way. Now, interestingly enough, when um, Eddie used, to, uh, I'm sorry, when Taylor used to spend time with Benjamin, um, there was no speak because I don't know what Kathy believes, what Kathy doesn't believe. Um, in the Ronkonkoma area, I also uh, did not have my voice on the weekends, so it made it very difficult to stick with St. John's there, which is where that community blessed Alexander in with the, um, the water. Um, and where I used to take Alexander safely into the basement of that church, um, Daniel for a while as well, until he started school, um, to get a sense of community there. They also had a very big library that I could take the kids to that was safe. Um, it didn't have multiple languages. It didn't have multicultured. It was American. It looked American. The people spoke American, felt American. And that's where I brought the children and where I felt safe for a while. Um, so... That's what my morning has been like so far. I was wearing this getup, which is why I'm doing a video on it, because it's not video worthy, but I didn't want to edit how I greeted them, knowing that I'm out for my morning walk. I'm not expecting to run into anybody. But when people stuck in the TV that have some restriction from coming into the area send you a blessing... Um, meetings like that are so key critical and crucial for bigger things that are going on outside of my scope of reality at the moment. I just know it. It's star 1978, star 8378 in Corkhead, Rosa. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. There is some argument between how one functions in a utopian society and dystopian society. Um, and when the th theoreticals actually hit the grooves and the pavement, how the performance is carried out is key and crucial as well.